The fixed timeline theory. This is the idea that time is stubborn, unbending, and couldn't care less about your meddling. According to this theory, the past, present, and future are already written in stone. Go back in time all you want, break a few plates, save a life, or accidentally start a war, but it won't actually change anything. Why? Because whatever you did, you already did. Your actions in the past were always part of history. It's a bit like realizing you were the cause of the very event you traveled back to stop. You're not rewriting the timeline, you're fulfilling it. So if you ever find yourself holding a time machine and thinking you can fix things, just remember, the fixed timeline says you're playing a part in a script that's already been performed. Dynamic Timeline Theory this is where time actually listens when you shout at it. Unlike the fixed model, this theory says the past can be changed, and when it is, the future shifts with it. Save someone from a car crash in 1982? Congratulations, you've just erased their funeral. And maybe your own birth while you're at it. It's the classic butterfly effect. Small changes ripple outward and spiral into massive consequences. Travel back, make one different decision, and boom, you return to a reality where your best mate never existed and someone else is living in your flat. According to this theory, time is flexible, reactive, and terrifyingly unstable. Basically, if you're going to mess with the past, make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Or, at least leave a note. Multiverse theory. This is where time travel doesn't break reality, it just makes a new one. According to this idea, every time you make a choice, or go mucking about in the past, a brand new universe branches off. Change something small, and voila, you've created a parallel timeline where that one choice defines a whole new world. So instead of changing your present, you just hop over to a version where things went differently. Step on a bug in 1920? You might return to a timeline where insects now rule the earth and parliament is a beehive. It's neat because it avoids paradoxes. Your original timeline stays untouched, while your alternate self deals with the chaos. It's like breaking the rules but only in another universe. Block universe theory, this is also called eternalism, this one treats time like a giant frozen lasagna. Every layer, past, present and future, is already baked in. According to this theory, all moments in time exist simultaneously, even if you can only experience one slice at a time. So, rather than time flowing, you're just moving your awareness through a fixed structure. You don't change the past or shape the future, you simply visit them, like flipping through pages in a book where the ending's already printed. In this view, free will's a bit of an illusion, and changing the future is as pointless as trying to rearrange yesterday's breakfast. It's all there, set, static. The time loop, this is also known as a causal loop or the bootstrap paradox, is where time takes a cheeky lap around itself. In this theory, an event in the future causes something in the past which then causes the original event, creating a perfect paradoxical circle. Imagine this. You go back in time and hand a young Beethoven his own sheet music. He becomes a famous composer using the music you gave him. So where did the music come from? Nowhere. It just exists in a loop with no origin. It's the sort of thing that gives physicists headaches and makes sci-fi writers giddy. The time loop defies logic, challenges causality, and leaves you wondering whether you did something or if it did you. Quantum time travel. This is where things get properly weird, because now we're talking about time through the lens of quantum physics, where particles can be in two places at once and logic goes out for a pint. This theory suggests that time travel might be possible without creating paradoxes thanks to quantum superposition and multiple outcomes. Instead of one fixed path, reality exists in a blur of probability. If you go back in time and change something, quantum mechanics says all possible outcomes already exist. You don't overwrite history. You just fall into a new version where your change makes sense. It's like Schrodinger's time machine. You both saved the future and didn't until someone observes the result. Confused? Good. That's exactly how quantum physics wants you to feel. Wormhole theory is probably the flashiest of the bunch. Straight out of science fiction and Einstein's equations, picture space and time as a massive sheet. Now fold that sheet so two distant points touch and poke a hole between them. That hole? That's a wormhole, a shortcut through space-time. In theory, if one end of the wormhole is moving faster or experiencing time differently than the other, say by orbiting a black hole or being dragged around at near light speed, you could walk in one end in 2025 and pop out the other in, say, 1985. Instant time travel. Of course, there are problems. Stability, radiation, exotic matter, and, well, surviving the trip without being stretched into cosmic spaghetti. But if it could work... Wormholes might just be nature's own time tunnels. 
waiting for someone brave or mad enough to try. Tachyonic time travel. This is based on a hypothetical particle called the tachyon. A particle that, if it exists, travels faster than light. And according to Einstein's relativity, anything moving faster than light might just break the rules of cause and effect, allowing messages or even people to move backwards through time. In theory, tachyons could send information to the past, making it possible to warn yourself about future mistakes or win the lottery with yesterday's number. But here's the catch. Tachyons have never been observed, and the math behind them tends to blow up into paradoxes and imaginary mass. Still, in the land of wild physics, tachyonic time travel is a tantalizing idea, one where the universe might let you cheat time, if only it could stop the whole thing from unraveling in a logical mess.